Hello everybody, my name is Kazvon. This is a tutorial for, you know, Let's Players basically who want to enumerate a large amount of thumbnails and have them all just spat out for you by Photoshop automatically. It is magic. So uh, let me show you how that works. It uses Photoshop automation. This is Photoshop CS6. It'll work in Creative Cloud. You can try it in earlier versions, but I'm not sure where the cutoff is. I'm not familiar with that. So sorry if this doesn't work for you. I, I don't know. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to first set up your thumbnail, create it all, and then when you number it, you're gonna want your number to be on a separate layer. So I just have a separate text layer here, all my effects are on it, and then I have, I uh, merged together a group of layers to create my background image here. Once you have that, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this number will actually fit properly, no matter how many digits you put in. It doesn't have to be three digits, unless you're going to do like a three digit let's play. So what I do is just make sure 88 fits because those are the fattest numbers, depending on your font, of course, uh, 88 is usually the good one, but I always leave it at one. You don't have to um, for this method. You don't actually have to leave it at any number. You can actually put X in there if you want, but I just leave it at a one because it's simple. But anyway, so now that we have that, we want to make sure that it's named numbers because in my variable text file, that sounds scary, but it's not, um, you're going to want to make a text document, a regular text document in Notepad. And then in the top, oh, this is all stretched out, sorry. The top of the document, you're gonna to wanna to write the name of the layer. It has to match, so it'll be able to call it up as a variable. And then under it, on separate lines, you just add numbers. So say you want 25 thumbnails, and each thumbnail is numbered one through 25, you just do it like this. If you want to do it to 30, you can do 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Simple, save it out, done. All done. Um, that can be anywhere at all. Just make sure you know where it is. I just have this all in a single folder because I like to keep things neat. But anyway, so what do we do with that? With that, we define that we define that text document as the variable for this layer. How do we do that? Well, you can go to image, variables, define. Quite simple actually. And in define, you want to choose the layer you want to put variables to. It'll be a list of all the layers you have in your PSD, uh, numbers is the one we want, obviously. And then we hit text replacement, that should automatically be checked. And uh, that's also the name of the layer. So, next you're gonna wanna go to data sets. And in data sets, you're gonna wanna import. I already have my data set imported, but I'll just show you how to do that. It'll look a lot like this. And you want data set one selected, and the variable will be named numbers, that should also still be in there, because that should just pull it right from the name of the layer. You're gonna wanna hit import, Select file, select your text file, and load it in. It makes sure replace existing data sets is clicked just in case. I don't think it matters if it's your first time doing it. And hit OK. And apply. And OK. So now, whoops. Uh, now, all those numbers will be associated with that layer. What does that mean? How does that help us? Well, here you can go to file, export, data sets as files. So using this tool, you select the folder you want all your thumbnails to be exported as. Now, this first run of them will be PSD files because this tool doesn't do JPEG. It's okay, we'll fix that. But first, we're gonna select the folder. I have it in thumbnail tutorial, uh, thumbs export and hit okay. So now um, I usually put it in a separate folder, you don't have to, but this will export all these things into enumerated PSD files. So you can rename it here. I'll do dark souls to LP. And then it'll, if you do data set number, it will put a number at the end of it for you. So it'll enumerate them for you. If you don't have numbers, if you, if you leave this as none, it'll actually resave every new made file over itself. So you have to have it numbered or it won't work. So now just hit okay going to automatically run through all those numbers, just like magic. Save those out as a PSD. And I can actually show you how that worked. Let's see, thumbnail tutorial, thumbs export, and here we go. They're all numbered nice and neatly. But once again, they're all PSD files. They're all 2.5 megabytes. It's a mess. We can't use these for YouTube. YouTube hates PSD files. So how do we fix that? Well, we go to file again, and we go to scripts, and we go to image processor. In the image processor tool, you select the folder that you're 
basically going to take the images from. So I exported all my PSDs to thumbs export. So that's the folder we're going to take from. And then here we can save in the same location where we can select a separate folder. I'm going to select a separate folder. That's how I like it and hit okay. And then here you want to hit save as JPEG and then choose your quality. Eight is good for me and just hit run. Now it's going to automatically open all those PSD files and save them out as a JPEG. Nice and easy. Like how I used to do this was well, one at a time, change it, change the number by hand, save it by hand, pain in the butt, right? But this, a faster. So let me show you all my JPEGs. Bam. All right here, ready to use, good to go. But yeah, that it's really important that you make sure that two digits will fit. <laughs> Because if you have it off to the right like that, it'll be clipped off and then you're going to have to do it all over again. But it's still not a big deal because it's pretty freaking simple. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Later, y'all.